What's up guys? Happy Thursday. We've got the RB S13 in. We're gonna kinda we're gonna do a toe plate alignment, show you guys how to do a toe plane alignment, and let you know if the big expensive toe plate alignments are what you have to have. Uh, the toe plates I got are some PBRs that I got online on eBay, I think. For I think the total price came out to like $52 shipped. It was the cheapest ones I could find. Um, as you can tell, kind of visually, we screwed up hard. That's got slight turn to it. And this one straight. So naturally, it pulls to the right. So first off. They advertise it as a one-man job. I would not recommend one man. Jake and I actually tried this the other day and it didn't work out too well. So what I suggest is three people and a steering wheel lock. Um, steering wheel lock. We'll kind of show you here what Jake's got here. Kind of just sits there on the seat, holds it straight. That's important because when we were trying this, uh, initially at his house after we put it on, we actually got it to perfect zero toe and then looked in the cab and the steering wheel's turn to the left. Then we tried it again and with just two people, Jake underneath, uh, wrenching the tie rods, and me kind of holding one side with the tape and look, looking at the other side. But the plate on the side that I wasn't on what kept moving. So, uh, Jake, Britt, and I, and the steering wheel lock are going to knock this out and get Jake that zero toe. Okay, so what we did, as you can see here, we have it jacked up on a pair of spare wheels with uh, a piece of carpet underneath the tire to be able to move in and out easier when we're under there adjusting the the uh, tie rods. Okay, so what you're gonna want is you're gonna get your two toe plates. You're gonna have your slots here. You wanna make sure when you, you put one on either side, on the bottom, they'll sit flush like this. And then you're going to want to make sure the tape is on the same on either side, on the same upper or lower slot. Um, and like I said, you're going to want three people, one underneath and then one person on either side just to make sure um, the toe plate doesn't move. So we're going to send, we got Britt, we're going to send her on the other side of the car, hold uh, the tape and the plate, and then Jake's underneath, you're going to adjust the rods and then uh, I'll be over here adjusting or uh, seeing the measurements. Now you're going to want two of the same tapes. Usually they'll come with it. Um, but Jake and I run zero toe. What zero toe means is the front and the rear on this uh, toe plate alignment is going to be the same number. Um, a lot of people run a quarter, toe, quarter inch toe in or quarter inch toe out. Uh, same concept, it's just a quarter inch more in the front or a quarter inch more in the rear depending on which one you're doing. So, we're going to send Britt over here and we're going to start adjusting. So, right now we're at 73 and a quarter up front and 72 and a quarter in the rear. So, we have an inch of toe out. So, you want to adjust this front one, Jake. Hi. Mommy's on the other side of the car, sweetheart. And right now, Jake's twisting the wheel. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's moving a little bit. Okay, we're at 73 even up front, 72 and 3 quarter in the rear. Keep going on this side, Jake. I can see the other Hold up. We're at 72 and 7 eighths on the front, and 72 and 7 eighths on the rear. 
right there is zero toe. Let's take a look. This one looks good and straight. This one looks good and straight. And the wheel is straight. There it is. Tighten it up. So right there is kind of how simple it is to do. With three people, it makes it so much faster and so much easier. Um, just make sure you're going the right way um, on your tie rods. And you know, if you're doing it yourself, you might not realize that until it's too late and you'll kind of have to redo everything you just did. Um, so in this scenario, with three people, Jake was able to go underneath and adjust, and we were able to get it right away with no worry on either side. And with the weight fully on the spare tires I got under here, with the carpet making it easier to turn, um, there's no guessing when it goes back down onto the ground uh, to wonder if the toe, what, what the toe's gonna be when it toes in, um, if it were just suspended in the air with no weight on it. Um, overall, these PBR products, toe plates, they work really well. The um, tape measures they provide with it are really well. They're easily seen. Um, they're measured all the way down into the eighth inch. You can let, get that side off that one, Brittany, the, rear, uh, the front one. Um, but no, for a $50 bargain, um, online i think this is a good purchase especially as much as we uh have issues on the track going off track and wondering if our alignment is off or on um it's really nice you can let that rear one off it's really nice to have these um to be able to tell on the fly uh how your alignment's doing uh so like i said just right there real quick is how this worked out I'll actually have Jake hop over on uh, mine just to double check mine, make sure everything's good since we did that caster and stuff like that. So let's hop over there and double check this one. All right, so put it in comments down below how far off you think the alignment is. Jake, you think it's going to be on or off? It'll be off. It'll be off? It was on before I adjusted anything. 77 and a half up front, 77 and a half in the rear. Perfect! Yay! It's really hot outside. I don't know what the temp is, but hot. That's what the temp is. So we're actually doing this because tomorrow, uh, so today, the day when this is dropping, we're actually headed out to Jefferson, which is about 28 miles. 28, give or take. Uh, miles away from here, which is hot August night. It's weird that they put it on on a Thursday, but there's always a whole bunch of cars that show up. Um, I actually forgot about it until Britt asked me last night. She's like, hey, are we going to hot August nights? And I'm like, didn't know anything about it. So that's kind of why we're doing this. So now both our cars are at zero tow. Thankfully. Jake, do we want to do your rear... Raise your rear real quick. All right, so now we're gonna raise the rear of Jake's. We actually had to raise the front quite a bit. Um, just uh, clear with the angle kit and everything like that. Uh, like I said, Jake runs Racelands and we actually found a bent one on this passenger front. Um, so we gotta raise the rears and then Jake can put his spacers back on and fill out that wheel gap a little bit in the rear. So that That'll look really, really good on Jake's car. So let's go ahead and let's get the rear up and start jacking up or start uh, cranking on the coilovers. So, <laughs> lucky us in all our glory, we uh, took out the driver's side uh, tire from underneath of it, lowered it, a stiff suspension, raised the passenger rear. So instead of taking the passenger front tire out from underneath the tire, we're just going to go ahead and adjust the rear now. It's got to go up one inch, so let's get going. It's hot. So to raise height on this, uh, some people might not know, you're going to break that lower collar loose and it's actually going to uh, screw into the tube on the bottom. 
Those top two are actually for the uh, uh, stiffness. Let's just go up three quarters of an inch. Jake's, Jake likes Hot Boy. He does. He's he's unfunctional. All right, so now we're getting the spacers on. Pull uh, Jake's wheel out of it so it didn't look. Okay, it looked really ridiculous. That looks good. All right, so that's gonna go ahead and we're gonna conclude today. Uh, Jake's gonna jack up the other side. We're gonna get that side done. I think the wheel fits a whole lot better in the rear wheel well. Front's aligned now, so that's sweet. Double check mine. Mine is good. Um, overall thoughts on the um, LRB or uh, PBR, sorry, uh, tow plates, they're worth the money. Um, it's a whole lot cheaper and a whole lot easier to do it yourself. Grab a couple buddies, drink some beers, do that, um, than it is to uh, find an alignment shop that'll do an alignment on a lower car. And here where we are, there is none. So Jake found that out with his Lexus. Uh, he used to have a slammed LS400. But anyways, we'll get this done. Let me know what you guys think of tow plates. Let me know what your favorite brand is. Um, put it down below. I'll put the link to the PBR tow plates down in the description. So, till next time, we're gonna head. We're getting ready for hot August nights. So that's gonna be Friday's video for you guys. So, till next time, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Keep on sliding.